Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another price prediction update video and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Lunak whose current price stands at the 0.000251 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is down by 0.91% and in this video I want to give you the key scenarios that I expect to play out in the short term and I'll be basing my analysis on the Ethiot waves and the Fibonacci's and also draw out the key chart patterns that you have information and also base my analysis on the key areas of support and resistances so if you're interested in such content make sure that you stick around to the end of the video and i'll kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening here on the lunar chart from these low prices that we have been seeing here on the lunar chart we saw a very nice bounce to the upside in this area to structure having our five taking us back to around the 0.00059 dollar mark and after seeing that area to structure to the upper side after seeing the formation of our 5 I named that as a higher Elliott wave count 1 and after making that high I expected a very nice retracement over here in the formation of a higher Elliott wave count 2 and in my previous video I made a video when Lunak was trading at this key area of support at around the 0.00025 dollar mark and we had seen a bit of a pump to the upside and formed a bull flag over here we had even managed to break out of that bull flag to the upper side managed to break above these other key area of resistance and continued pushing higher and I expected that Lunak might continue pushing higher because I believed we had seen the low for that with two to the lower side but from what you can see over here the low was not yet in and we lost these key areas of support at around the 0.00025 dollar mark and made a new low at around the 0.00018 dollar mark and after seeing that low we have seen a very nice bounce to the upside and before i get into the technical analysis of this chart it's good that we take a look at the fundamental analysis of the lunac chart and here on binance we have an announcement on lunac concerning the deposit and withdrawal fees for Lunac and USDC and you can see this announcement reads that on deposits Lunac and USDC deposits to Binance are subject to withdrawal fees charged by other exchanges or platforms you need to note that Binance has introduced uh, withdrawal fees on Lunac and USDC and it also reads that Binance will apply 1.2 consolidated fee for all deposits received by Binance before crediting to users accounts due to the 1.2 tax ban implemented by the Lunac and USDC transactions on the Terra Classic network. Also on the withdrawals it reads that users will be receiving a withdrawal amount minus withdrawal fees charged by Binance and a 1.2 tax ban so you can see that Lunac has introduced a tax ban and Binance is also implementing that and that had a bit of uh, an impact here on the Lunac chart after making that low down here we had that news and we saw a bit of a uh, bounce to the upside in this movement right here and in this movement right here we have also seen the formation of a wedge and we have managed to break out of that wedge to the upper side and at the moment we are seeing a bit of a retest of that wedge right here so it's possible that once the retest is a success it's possible that we might continue pushing higher and if that plays out i will expect us to manage to break above key areas of resistances here on the lunar chart have successful retest and continue pushing higher and in that movement to the upper side that might be what will be forming a third wave to the upper side because you have seen over here we have seen a higher edge to wave count one then a higher edge to wave count two so it's very possible that whatever we might see over here in the next few days might be the form of a higher Elliott wave count 3 and because our wave 3 is an impulsive wave we also expect to see fractal waves in formation within that wave 3 we can name this as a wave 1 then expect a wave 2 which is in formation right here then in case the retest is a success and we continue pushing higher that might form a wave 3 then a wave 4 and a wave 5 to complete a higher Elliott wave count 1 within a wave 3 then expect a wave 2 a wave 3 then a wave 5 to complete the higher Elliott wave count 3 so let's be patient and see how that plays out and it's also possible that in case we don't have a successful retest over here we might continue pushing lower lose this areas of support and maybe make a new law for that 
second wave over here so let's be patient and see how that plays out but the scenario with the most likely possibility is the one of us continuing to push higher in the formation of a third wave yeah and that's the update for lunac